European Union election observation mission has deployed 40 election observers who have arrived in Ghana from the European Union ahead of the general elections next month. The observers are expected to meet electoral officials, candidates and representatives from political parties in each region. They would also meet members of civil society groups and the media. Let's get more on the work of the observers from Deputy Chief Observer Marian Gabriel, who joins us via Zoom. Hello, thank you very much for your time. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for having me right. in the program. Right. Let's begin with um, what you have observed so far. You're welcome to Ghana, by the way. What have you observed so far, even with the election, uh, the campaign processes? Obviously, the uh, arrived is the mission at the beginning of the, of the of, you know of November, and uh, after some couple of days, they deploy our observers to all regions of Ghana. And what they started to observe, of course, is uh, the campaign process. And they are also meeting the uh, election administration people at all regions and district offices and uh, getting the uh, questions about voter registration, about the no nomination of candidates. And of course, there are any incidents of violence which might occur during the campaign process, etc. So we are now in the stage of observing campaign process and election preparations. Mm. And regarding the election preparations itself, um, I'm sure you have picked up a few information that you can give us your thoughts, if you like, on. Um, just this morning, there was, uh, over the weekend, there was supposedly a publication of voter biodata by the Electoral, Electoral Commission. I'm wondering if you have heard about this conversation and what your thoughts are on it. Uh, obviously, we follow every stage of the process, but as election observers, we are not entitled to give any opinion at this stage. Uh, if we found something which uh, it seems like irregularity, we raise these questions with the Electoral Commission, with the Madame Jean Mensa herself, or at the regional or district offices of the election administration. But uh, we are not really communicating to media any shortcomings we would find so far. On the other side, we are preparing a statement just after elections, and after election day, we will comment on all aspects of the process. Right. What should Ghanaians be expecting from you and your team on the day of election, after the day, which when we're expecting the results, etc.? Thank you very much for that question. I think that the uh, European Union election observers are not new to Ghana. We were also here in 2016 and also in 2008 for to observe general elections. We produce quite comprehensive analysis of the elections. For example, two days after election day, we normally publish a statement some 10 pages long. And we are not just saying something uh, positive or negative about the election process. We really analyze in deep what we think about voter registration, as I said, nomination, campaign, misuse of state resources, issues related to campaign finance, election day, voting, uh, tabulation process, the results process, etc. If you look at the 2016s, there were a number of shortcomings in uh, also, and many aspects of the election process were positive. So we will very carefully again look on the positive aspects, but also on those aspects which were not so good, and, and uh, really analyze them again, so public can compare our report from 2020 and 2016, and maybe make their assessment if there is any progress in the elections or, or in which part of the election process there is a progress and if there is something which is more complicated or more negative than it was in 2016. Mm. So they can expect from us a really comprehensive statement just only after two days after elections. Very well. We'll be looking out for that. Is there anything I haven't asked but which you believe we should know before you go? I think that uh, uh, Ghanian needs to know that uh, we were invited as observers by the government, by the Electoral Commission, that we established very good working relations with the, our main counterpart, which the, is Electoral Commission. Of course, we met also the, the, the most uh, important players, like the main, main parties and uh, several presidential candidates. And of course, we will continue this work. It's, it's uh, uh, something what is, I think, very important. We will stay here also a couple of weeks after elections. So we will look entire process. But observers, Ghanian needs to know that 
election observation is not about election day, but as a, as a, as a whole process, including campaign and also process after elections. But that is a, the, our main principle to follow the whole election process, not just election day voting and counting. Mm. Certainly, we in the media look forward to engaging with you as well, and we look forward to the uh, comprehensive analysis that you, you refer to. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. I've been speaking to Marianne Gabriel. He is the Deputy Chief Observer with the EU mission, and they are in the country to monitor the elections. As you heard, they, are on the, they came on the invitation of the Ghanaian government through the Electoral Commission.